Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cops and Robbers Car Show of the Year. This is 2022. Uh, here I have my friend who has a Camaro. What year is it, John? 2010 SS with the top of line package on it. Here we go. We're on interview. Hi there, John. Hi there, John. How's it going? Good. What a beautiful car you have. Let's get that whole thing in the picture. Oh, yeah. What do we got here, John? What do you got under the hood? This is a 2010 Camaro SS. Uh, bought it brand new. And uh, at the time, it had roughly about 426 horsepower. Nice. At the engine, not at the wheels. Uh, Excellent. That's how that GM kind of did the ratings. Yeah. Uh, Corvettes had them tested at the rear wheels, but however, Camaros and everything else is tested at the engine. Beautiful. So uh, from 426, this car now has about 475 horsepower. Wow. Uh, it has a Vera Ram Ram air intake on it. As well, let's take show. a let's take a little uh, shot of it here. Sure. This is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Power. So, what's the uh, engine called? Well, this is an LS3. Yep. Uh, for this model, you can get the L99 or the LS3. The L99 came in automatic. Nice. Uh, this one just happened to be that I wanted a six-speed TR6060 Viper transmission. Wow. Uh, so that's what's in this car right now. Uh, this computer, this car is also computer tuned. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pushing about 410 horsepower to rear wheels. Wow. A um, bunch of goodies, uh, skip shift eliminator, stuff like that. Uh, throttle controller. Uh, nice. This car is uh, a lot better than what it was from the factory. Yeah, a lot more power, a lot more speed, a lot more uh, performance and handling. Right. Uh, this car will have no problem outrunning the police. Well, let's take a second look at this thing. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This thing will outrun the police in a heartbeat. That's called taking care of business in a right. flash. Nice. So that's my uh, entry for the show at the Cops and Rodders of 2022. Excellent, excellent. Are you having a good time? We all, always have a good time at a car show. Damn straight. There's always a lot to do at a car show. There's uh, not only cars, lots of good people, uh, lots of fun things to do, lots of food. Nice. Uh, I recommend everybody take a child to a car show. Damn Keep right. This tradition and hobby going. Hallelujah. Here we, we go. Want, we don't want to end with us. That's right. Let the tradition carry on. Exactly. Let me just show around what's happening with John. There we have a nice Trans Am, which we'll go to a little later. So we've got barbecues happening, smoke shows, live band that seem to love the Stones, the Rolling Stones, that is. And this is just one corner of the car show. It's beautiful. Excellent, beautiful day. Well, thank you, John, on uh, on explaining uh, a little bit about your car here. That was fantastic. Well, thank you for uh, taking a look at my car, and nice to see you again. Yes. We'll see each other next year. Yes, we will. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have this uh, 1979 Trans Am by Pontiac. Absolutely. Gold steering wheel. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at the back. Fantastic paint job. Triple black. Gotta love it. Beautiful. Look at the gold rims. Incredible. Original deck. Well, maybe. See, this is Pioneer. Take a look at that. It's got actual keys for the knobs. That's pretty cool. And look at the bird on the hood. Absolutely gorgeous. Calm down, 2022. Today we have the 1976 Dodge Tradesman 100 full-size van. Back in the day, they were all full-size vans. Uh, sometimes they came with the straight six, or what they call the slant six, or you could have had a V8 and them, three ATs and all that. I bet you this one's got a bigger one. It could, it could. Uh, and then I'll go for a 360. It might be too big for this. Maybe. 
but like most of these vans back in the day, uh, they had murals on them or they had the interiors redone on them to suit the camper look. Nice. This one has such thing as the camper look to it. It has uh, it's a closet, it has the uh, uh, dressers, bedding, curtains. Yeah, let's floor. take a look inside. Let's look at the dash. Look at that dash. Beautiful. Excellent seats. Oh my goodness. Take a look at the bed. Love it. Nice orange. I love it. That totally takes me back to the 70s. Also, the quad tailpipes on the side of the van really shut it off nice. Quad. Wow. Take a look at those. And of course, we have our Craggers. Can't have a van without Craggers, that's for sure. Alrighty. What do you think, John? Beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Here we have something close to the General Lee. Absolutely gorgeous. What year you think, John? Uh, probably the seven. I'm thinking seventy because you know what the the middle pillar is missing yep. in the front. Yep, it also has a round light. Could be sixty-eight. I don't know. Let's tell by the uh, the back lights. Sixty-eight. Absolutely gorgeous car. Wow. Yeah. Nice interior. Very nice. Oh my god. Look at this Cadillac. What year do you think that is? So I would go for 67? 67, 68? Absolutely gorgeous convertible. That's where it's at, man. And you have a car like this? Wow. Wow. Last time I was pulled over, it's a 288 on 80 slowing down. And I didn't get a ticket. 288 on an 80 slowing down. Oh, take a look at this Buick Riviera, too. Oh my god, look at those rims. Those are custom. Yeah, 100%. Take a look at that dash. Oh yeah, that's way ahead of its time. Some of the stuff, not everything, right? Look at that. I've never seen an intake like that. The Buick had it. Really? Nobody else. And uh Wow, that's like a forced air. I don't know where it's forcing it from. I think it's just uh, yeah, because uh, when you're driving, especially in traffic, that's all hot air underneath the hood here. Yeah. As you want to accelerate hot air, does not give it a bang uh, like cold air would. So it's sucking hot air all the time. So I it's agree. better to put something on there to get fresh air from the front, as, like to ram it. Damn straight. So uh, you know, have more power that had that type of, of an intake to it. Yep. What well, beautiful car, beautiful engine, and I bet you there's good enough power. I see a bottle here, John. Yeah, it's oil separator. Oil separator. Catch can. Nice. So it's gonna reburn to the engine up to the back of the valves or anything like that. Wow. John, here we have the uh, we have a Cuda here. Challenge three. This is a Challenger and uh, 1970. This has got the 340 uh, horsepower engine. Usually this came with 340 or play with 360. Um, pretty good for power. Some have the, uh, the infamous type of pistol shifter uh, here. This one doesn't have it. Uh, but some have 
of those, but other than that, the interior is pretty, pretty well what you'd find in this car. Uh, this car is supposed to be uh, for track only, as you can see it does not have any wiper arms or wiper blades. So this is probably a track car, and it's going to be in good shape, obviously, and uh, we'll take a look at this. Here's the engines, and ladies and gentlemen, which was a, what was the engine size? 340. 340, and take a look at that. It's got a gauge to measure fuel uh, pressure. Fuel pressure. That's Here's amazing. The ignition box. Let's take a look at the front here. Oh yeah. This speaks 70s. It has an air splitter down below. Oh, beautiful. How many horse do you think this thing has? From the factory, probably about, I'd say close to 360. 360. That's Realistically. awesome. Realistically. Take a look at that luscious roof. Wow. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, yeah. That's that's true 1970 right there. Yeah. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Square tip exhaust on there. Yeah, square tip exhaust, ladies and gentlemen, which is another feature that the uh, RTs had back then. This is a great example of uh, this type piece. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, on to the next. Here we are at the car show, Cops and Rodders, and here's a Starsky and Hutch car. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, 1976 Starsky and Hutch car with a 351 for Torino. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have 351. I don't know how much horsepower does the 351s have. What do you think, John? Back then, probably about 200, roughly. 200. Yeah, because the emissions that they're putting on there. You're right. 76 was, I think, the first year of it. Around there, yep. yep. Here we have the pinstripe too. Absolutely gorgeous. You don't mind if we record the front. Go for it, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I already got it. Do you know how many horsepower this thing has? I haven't had it on a dyno or anything, but I think from the factory they came with like 150 horsepower. Like it wasn't yeah. anything insane. But that was like my caddy's got 140. Yeah. Same thing. Although, yeah. someone before me in the past 46 years removed the cat and the muffler and everything. Oh, nice. So she's got some extra horse yeah. things, Yeah, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a blue interior too. It is, yeah. Yeah. It's a blue interior. The car was actually originally green on the outside. I, oh, wow. I figured that out by reading this painted over <laughs> sticker there that you can barely see. But uh, yeah, I think the car was originally green and had a blue interior. Wow. Yeah. It originally had, uh, had opera windows there too, but they've been filled in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it's, uh, it. Yeah. It's pretty common thing. But it's, uh, Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The siren. Nope. <laughs> nice. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thanks a lot. That was awesome. No Where's this car show? Gorgeous. Oh, he's back there, huh? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1975 Dodge Tradesman. Let's take a look at the info. Wow. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this front end. Gorgeous. Oh, he's got a little TV antenna. TV antenna, sunroof, and in the back, he's got the bed cap. Right. Quarter windows on the front. 
Look at the shag on the dash. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, we got some nice updates in there. Oh, take a look at this interior. Absolutely gorgeous. And we got some lighting. Look at the roof, shag roof. Wow, let's look at the floor. Nice little shamrock. Beautiful. Oh, even on the seats. Absolutely gorgeous. And the sunroof. Let's look at that dash. Wow. I love it. What do you think, John? This is something I like to take on a nice long cruise, basically uh, somewhere down south, a few thousand kilometers there and back. Uh, it'd be a great ride. Nice, nice and smooth eye catcher for sure. Um, you know, they don't make them like this anymore. They certainly don't. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a 1979 Mark. Let's try to see what this is. Mark 5. Here we go. We'll show that symbol. Absolutely gorgeous car. Absolutely mint. What the CD? Oh yes, this thing had the CD. Absolutely gorgeous leather. Very, very soft leather. Corinthian leather. Corinthian. Like Macarlo Montalban. <laughs> oh my god, look at this sucker. Well, let's read. I assume it's a 460. And let's see here. Timing. Okay, there we are. 5.8 liter or 6 point liter? 351. I don't think these came with 351s. He's got the distributor in the front here. 6.8 liter was definitely not a 3.1. No, 6.8 was for... for uh, 400? For, for something, for sure. You know, you, you can jump this car? Yeah. Right here, but I won't show you how But it, it doesn't start. But you do it from here. Yeah, you put the screwdriver. I yeah. remember my Thunderbird was exactly the same. But it didn't start. You can start it from there still. You can, it'll go, but it won't start. Put the key in uh, on ignition and crank it will start. Oh, yeah, yeah, if the key is on, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I want this car. This is absolutely perfect. We have a Lincoln Town Car, which I believe is a 1979 with the 460 engine inside absolutely gorgeous with the royal blue paint job when you rub the gas pedal you say your gas needle drop closer to empty every time pretty much but it was pure luxury there are some cars out there right now that will fit underneath this hood probably like the smart car the smart car well i think this car right here could probably fit there. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous paint color oh my goodness Look at the <laughs> roof. Wow. Look at that this interior. Easy boy style interior. This is where you brought your living room with you. Yep. Take a look at that beautiful hood. Goes for miles. Gotta love it. Let's take a look at the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I think that's a Citroen over there. Yeah, interesting. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at that Mark. What would that be? Mark five, a Grand National, probably a 1987 with a 3.8 liter supercharged. I think. Good. How about yourself? Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Lovnitschke? Yeah. What's your first name? John. John. Do we not play together no. uh, in a folklore? No? no? no. Okay. No. But you look familiar. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely I gorgeous know. car you have here. I saw, you, I saw you walk by earlier. I, I know that dude. Yeah. Oh, you know Danny? Danny used to live two houses down from me. Well, I was, I'm his cousin. That's what I was asking. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I used to live on Loring at number oh, yeah? seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, way back in... Uh, uh, I moved in there in 92. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So what year is the card? 1987. I was right. 3.8 liter supercharged turbo. Uh, turbo, turbo. Turbo, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous car. When did you get this car? 1989. 89. I bought it. Uh, I bought it with 17k on it. It's got 61. Just turned 61. Wow. Yeah. I've owned her a long time. And you kept her in. Is that original paint or has it been painted? Oh my god. Just that fast. Wow. Here we have Herbie. Beautiful car. Now look at this thing. Wow. Totally amazing. getting all dusty. But she looks good. Look who it up. 